Hello everyone, once again, happy Tuesday. It is Connor here. Let's wrap up today with one more candle review. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review on Kringle Candles, new spring for 2023 scent. Uh, it is Sea Breeze. Definitely go check out the review if you did miss it. But now I am back here with a review of another spring summer scent from Kringle. This one is not new. This is actually a, I don't know if I would call it classic. I'm not really sure how long this candle has been around, but I believe for a while. Um, it's definitely a fan favorite from what I've seen, and I do think that this is probably a bestseller. It is Fiji from Kringle Candle. I have honestly been so intrigued by this candle for since I've started shopping with Kringle. I've always just thought, wow, that Fiji candle, like really just based on the label, I was like, that is an amazing scent. I have to pick that one up. And I actually never really got around to picking this one up till last fall in November when I went to the Kringle Candle flagship store in Massachusetts. Um, and I picked this one up because I loved it so much on cold and I knew that I would love it for the spring and summertime. And here we are, it is March and it's time to get, it to get into some beachy spring, summer type of scents. So, um, I felt like this was a perfect one to bring. As you guys know, I am here at the beach this week, so I am filming this review at the beach, and this has been an amazing scent to be burning while I'm here at the beach. Um, I know I talked about this a little bit in the review from earlier, but I will briefly mention it here. Kringle Candle did do a release on three new Easter candles on Monday. Definitely check those out. Um, I'm not thinking they're going to sell out quickly, but they could. I really have no clue. So um, definitely check out Kringle's website if you are interested in those. I am purchasing all three of them, so I will be giving you guys my thoughts on them um, at some point, either later this week or next week earlier. So I guess wait for my thoughts if you'd like to, but I have no clue if they're going to sell out, so you may want to hop on it and purchase them. You can use my code Connor Loves Candles and get yourself 15% off of your purchase. The link to Shop Kringle Candle is down below in the description as well as the code if you are interested. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about Fiji today. Now, this one I do have here in a large soy candle, two wicks. The candle that I prefer from Kringle, I love. Now, if you guys know, we've been all talking about this a lot lately, but the new country candles for the spring are gonna be in this same wax formula of the 100% soy, but in the past, the country candle formula was a paraffin wax, so all of the like older country candles are still the paraffin, but they're slowly gonna get changed over. Um, so this, scent Fiji is actually available in a in the country candle line it's available in the paraffin and in the soy so if you prefer the soy then you can purchase this one but then they also have the country styles they also do have this one in the daylight which is perfect for trying out a scent if you're not sure if you're gonna love it um, and then they also do have it in the wax melt as well so those are your different options, but um, let's go ahead and get into the scent with the description and the notes. So the description says, indulge in this floral fruity medley as water orchid, green coconut, kiwi blossom, and Tahitian vanilla are touched with accents of pineapple, frangipani, and amber. Your top notes are kiwi blossom, mandarin, and maguette. Your mid notes are frantic frangipani, green coconut, I can't say that word, orchid, and pear, and then your base notes are amber, musk, pineapple, nectar, and vanilla. Okay, so this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, based off of the label alone, you might think that this is kind of like a basic watery type scent, like beachy, tropical, but this is such a beautiful, complex scent. And the notes that Kringle put in here are truly just amazing. It is honestly so beautiful. Um, this is kind of like a fruity floral with a perfumey base to it. Um, 
there is definitely some tropicalness in here um but this has some really nice fruity notes and some really nice floral notes as well it's a beautiful scent so right off the bat when i um when i smell this i get the pineapple um or sorry not pineapple kiwi blossom um i get that like fruitiness i get the kiwi i get the mandarin um I get those first. Oh, there is pineapple in there actually. Sorry, I missed that in the base notes. Um, so I get those fruity notes. This does have some coconut in here. It's more to me of like a sweeter coconut where I feel like in the Seabreeze candle that I reviewed from earlier, that one has coconut in it as well. That one to me is more of a, not bitter coconut, but it's just not as sweet. This candle, Fiji, is much sweeter in my opinion than the Seabreeze. So it's got the coconut um then i get some floralness there's like a really nice like orchid note in here it's really pretty though um and it's just honestly i i love this scent this smells amazing as you guys know i don't normally love super tropical or citrus or fruity scents but this is tropical done right and this is something that i would totally pick up more of and this is something that I think would be very enjoyable during the summer or the spring, honestly, but like especially during the summer, this would just be a really enjoyable scent to have. Um, okay, now let's get to that musky, like perfumey base that I was talking about. This does have kind of like a perfuminess at the bottom of it. It's not like a perfumey candle. I'm not at all saying that. This is more of what I, I would consider this a fruity floral scent, but with that floral it does have a like perfumey muskiness to it and it's really nice it works really well with the fruitiness and i feel like sometimes candle companies will try and combine like a fruity and a perfumey note in it doesn't always work together but again this is done right this smells amazing and i just i think that this is a beautiful blend and i'm really enjoying all of the notes in here they all really work together well and again this is definitely something that i will be picking up in the future this is one of those candles that i'm going to put on like my um three wick list which is basically once they change over all of the three wicks to the new 100 percent soy which is this formula right here i am going to be purchasing this one in the three wicks because i just think that it's going to be amazing in the three wick um so that is my thoughts on the scent overall okay so let's go ahead and get into our performance here um i'm also about halfway done with this one so this has got that really nice beautiful burn that i had on the sea breeze and i get on all of my kringle candles this 100 percent soy is just so consistent and i always get a amazing burn from this so as you can see the flames are doing really well it's that creamy white wax all the way down to the bottom no discoloration no sootiness or anything like that on the rim of the jar um our burn here it's a really nice clean burn as you can see no discoloration wax residue anything like that it is just a really nice clean burn and I just I've gotten so used to these Kringle burns but I'm still always so impressed with how burn or with how clean they burn um it is just really amazing um the strength and throw on this one is as the same as the sea breeze this one is definitely a high throw it is probably like a nine and it's really filling up the house here that we're staying in this house the beach house that we're staying in is smaller than the than the house that i live in in virginia and this candle completely fills up the house here i am interested to see if this would fill up my house back in virginia better than it would in here or if it would not fill it up as well there in my house than it would here because this is smaller and it totally fills it up. So I am very interested to see if it would do the same in my house. So 
I may just like leave a little bit left down here when I get to that point and take it home and burn it there to see. But so far, the strength of the throw is amazing. And I just love these Kringle Candle Soy Candles. These are amazing. The scent is so beautiful. Again, I don't love tropical always, but this is totally tropical done right. And this is something that I would definitely be repurchasing again. So yeah, that is my thoughts on Fiji from Kringle Candle. Let me know down below if you guys have ever gotten this scent from Kringle before and let me know your thoughts on it if you have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you're new here. Turn on that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.